Hello everyone, welcome to another quick video. This is a how-to tutorial to stream to multiple uh, platforms or sources, if you will. Um, I use OBS, some other people use XSplit, uh, or there are a few other ways to stream online. Uh, on OBS in particular, if you go to settings, you can see a section here that says stream and you can select if you want to do a custom streaming server or a streaming service directly and you can select from several ones but you might want to stream to multiple sources at the same time like send to Twitch, send to YouTube at the same time, send to Beam at the same time, uh, send to Facebook if you want uh, and here you can only send to one of them so how do you go around this? So I searched the internet uh, and you can find a few um, forum threads on OBS about this. I'm just showing them real quick. And if you read through them, what they suggest is that you create, uh, you set up your own Nginx server to uh, restream. So you stream to yourself locally and then from there you send to multiple sources. Uh, outside and uh, to use these streams they use the so-called RTMP protocol um, so how can we set this up uh, first you need to download uh, Nginx and it's not any Nginx so you can just go to this page and download it from here this version will not have the RTMP server so you have to find a specific version that has the RTMP module uh, Arut, uh, repository has this, the repository from Arut, so you can go to Arut, GitHub IO, Nginx, RTMP module. I believe there's also a link somewhere here for Nginx Winx Q. I didn't try, I, I think I tried this version and it didn't work, but you can also try it. I think this is actually the standard Nginx version. The one I actually ended up using was actually something that you usually shouldn't do, which uh, use a pre-compiled version. I found this uh, repository from a Japanese guy called uh, Illus Spass and he had a build of Nginx with, RTMP, with RTMP module built so I just downloaded this one and ran this one and it worked so I haven't touched it but I wouldn't advise you to do this because he could have compiled something into the executable that you don't know uh, about so it's always best to use the open source version so I would recommend you using um, uh, this version from Arut uh, I still have to try it, but it should also work. Uh, once you download it, it's pretty straightforward. You have this directory, um, and you have a configuration file right here, and you edit this configuration file, already have it open here, and you create something like this. Uh, I don't want the HTTP server, so I commented this everything out, and right now I'm streaming to three servers at the same time. I'm streaming to Restream.io, which I will tell you about it in a, in a second. I'm also streaming to Facebook and I'm streaming to uh, SceneSat, which is something uh, related to the demo scene. I commented out some parts of the of the keys so you don't know how it, how uh, what my keys are. You, you're not supposed to leak them. Um, there are two things that I want to mention right now. One of them is what is Restream.io. Uh, Restream.io is a service that does this what that I'm talking about. You can send just to Restream.io and Restream.io sends to multiple platforms so I have uh, it open here uh, you can add new channels as you can see the only problem is here you don't for example have Facebook to have Facebook in Restream.io you need to add a custom platform and to add a custom platform you need to pay five dollars a month so this is why I ended up creating my own Nginx server and uh, restreaming from here. I still use Restream.io to send to uh, Twitch and YouTube and Periscope at the same time. You could see it right here. Yeah, uh, yeah. I use these three services. So instead of having five streams on my end, I have three streams on Restream's end and two extra uh, on my own server. Um, I also use the chat from Restream, which combines all the chats from the different sources, and it's very useful to have. So I recommend you checking out Restream.io, but if you want to do something uh, that sends directly to Facebook Live, for example, uh, you will need to have your own Nginx server. I will show you how you can do the Facebook Live. You have to go to this specific page. It's a bit hard to find. Uh, Facebook.com slash live slash create. And then you can go through the steps here, how to create. You say uh, where you are going to share the event. I can share my own timeline. 
and then you define all the configurations at the title, blah, blah, blah. And after all this, they will give you that RTMP link. Yeah, here we go. The RTMP link is right here. And if I use these settings, put them right here, save this file, execute uh, nginx by running nginx.exe, then I will have a local server uh, running uh, of nginx. And I can go to OBS. And instead of selecting the streaming service from here, I do the uh, custom streaming server and I just stream to myself, local, local host, port 1935 slash live, because it's what I'm using right here on the application live. This is the name of the application. It's the, it's not subdomain, it's like special ID uh, of the stream because you can have multiple ones on the same server. Uh, so now I'm sending live and the stream key can be whatever you want. Uh, I'm not validating so in this case I just put live or test or whatever um, and I can just send. Um, okay, if I do all this I would be streaming already. Uh, another thing that I want to mention is some sites need authentication and to have authentication working is actually a bit hard. You need to have this special uh, thing in between the channels. Uh, you have to have the RTMP auth argument and put your username and then uh, two points and the password. Uh, this is a different one from what I use on Synset. Uh, I, I just uh, filtered it out so you don't um, hijack my stream. But and I, I, we spent quite a long time trying to figure out how to get this working. So this is why I'm stressing this on the video that if you want authentication working, this is how you're supposed to do it. I don't know if all the servers use this method of configuration, but I think on the basic uh, RTMP authentication, uh, this is how you do it. There are also some specific ways of authenticating using SSL. So use our RTMPS protocol instead of RTMP. I don't know how that works, I never used it, but there is that way of authenticating as well and that is different from the basic authentication that is being used here. So yeah, this is all I wanted to say about, I wanted to document this in case that I know in a few months time I don't remember how this actually worked. So oh, hope this was useful, let me know if you have, uh, if you had any issues or any other uh, workarounds that I haven't considered. Bye-bye, uh, take care. Let me stop the recording on OBS.